Hello, we're all conditions. This is Alien SA, and I came across an old product that I had not used before, but I got a chance to try out, and I was kind of interested, and I just wanted to share my experience with you. You know that I use the PAL Apex Locator, Precision Apex Locator by Brassler USA, and this Apex Locator, along with the Endo Sequence 2 handpiece, uh, has a specific contra angle attachment that allows it to be connected to your rotary file to be used in conjunction with the Apex Locator so that you, instead of using hand files connected to your Apex Locator and get your working length, you're now able to use your uh, file to do that. And, uh, you know, smaller size files, size 15 and size 20 rotary files, uh, whether it's the Expediter, which is a 1505, or one of the Scouts, which is the 1504, or even the 1502, or even a 2004, are all files that could be used in conjunction with this handpiece to get your Apex Locator. I mean, it's not necessary to always do that, but it just it gives you one little level of ex uh, expediency and efficiency that I just wanted to share with you. I did did one case in uh, conjunction with it. It is a case of a canine, as you can see here, and canines, uh, it's a virgin canine that became necrotic. Now, canines can become necrotic for various reasons, especially, and you know, even if they're virgin without any restoration. So it's important to do your pulp vitality tests to see if a tooth is necrotic. Um, and the cause can oftentimes be either related to the um, uh, a little bit of recession and exposure of the dental tubules at the level of the uh, buccal area or a tiny little crack somewhere on the tooth. In this particular patient, there was a little tiny crack. Uh, it appeared like to be on the lingual aspect of the tooth right at that level of the uh, cingulum, as you can see. Uh, however, it didn't probe and everything uh, in terms of probing was normal, but the tooth was necrotic and required root canal therapy. As you can see here, I'm using the size 1502 hand file. This is a 31 millimeter. And uh, now you can see that uh, I'm also uh, I'm putting in an endo sequence file in there, and I'm, I'm engaging the uh, the lead that connects to that. And uh, now I'm just using you know I'm just using my finger on the top of the handpiece, not to press it down, but to control the movement of the head so it doesn't get sucked down if it ever happens. So you can see here that I'm basically taking it to one uh, engagement and then wiping it. What, that's our typical SSC motion and uh, uh, here you can see that I'm now using that endo swipe uh, brush and uh, now as you can hear we've reached the apex uh, basically just the you know three SSC motions after the size 15 reached the apex and now just kind of getting it a little more accurate to that length that I want and then disengaging the lead and pushing this back and exposing the file. Now, as you know, I always like to take a file shot to confirm, and this is the file shot that shows perfect length uh, using this method. And then obviously from that, I use the ESX protocol and complete the, uh, the filling with just another uh, file to the length that I, uh, that I wanted. So that basically is a very quick tutorial. I just wanted to show you this one little product that I had sitting around in my uh, a drawer that I hadn't, um, you know, that, that I hadn't used, uh, and I just wanted to share it with you. There's some drawbacks. Sometimes the lead, depending on the length of the file, you have to use a little bit of a longer file so that the leads can engage. And uh, otherwise, uh, it's just one method of using it. Just be careful, however, that you don't feel like if you if you use a high tapered instrument that you have to push it down in order to get it down. Just make sure you're always using SSC. And if you find that after two or three SSCs, the file is not down at the apex, maybe this is something that you need to use a hand file on with a smaller taper on O2. Or maybe you can use the 1502 Scout ESX file instead with it. But the key here is the length allowing enough room for the lead to be in contact as well as having the stopper. Well, either way, for whatever it's worth, just wanted to share this with you and I'll see you in the next tutorial.